Hey guys, so today's video is going to be really random. Well, actually not like really random. We're just going to be talking about perfumes in this video. And sometimes I'm hesitant to do video on perfumes because they don't really do so well. They're not videos that get a lot of views or anything like that. But if there's anyone out there like me watching my videos, maybe you'll like this video. I am addicted to watching perfume videos online. I love learning about perfumes. I love discovering new perfumes. Like I love everything about perfumes. And even though they're not everyone's favorite videos, I really like watching those kinds of videos. So maybe there are people out there like me in the world. So if there are, this video's for you. And don't mind me, I know I'm like hunched over like this, but I'm sitting on like a, a stool on my floor just so that I'm in frame I'm getting so tired not tired but I've had the same background for a really long time and I am not ready to get rid of my vanity Danny built it I mean I actually will never get rid of it let's be honest like this will be mine forever and I know people are sick and tired of my same vanity but it is my vanity it's my baby so I am switching things up I told you guys a while ago I'm really hot let me put the AC on I told you guys a while ago that I was redoing my room and I'm still in the process of doing that but there is one thing that's going down in my bathroom and I can't fix this room until my bathroom is done. But anyway, why I'm even telling you this is because this is my Cat Chats couch. I film all my Cat Chats videos here and I decided to just sit in front of my couch today and film this video because I just wanted to see a new background. So you're going to get a hunched over version of me and we're going to talk about perfumes. So for today's video, it's gonna be really casual and really laid back. There's a lot of things happening in my life this week and I actually have to leave immediately after I film this video. So I wanted to do something a little bit more casual and something a little more chatty where I could really just relax and talk to you guys and not feel, not feel pressure to do like a video. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about some recent perfumes that were just brought into my life. So it's kind of like a what I've been trying out kind of video, like a mini haul. And then I'm gonna talk to you guys about my favorite perfumes to wear in the summertime, like this time of year. These the perfumes I'm really loving. Some are new favorites, some are old favorites, and you know, let's just let's just start. So Kat Von D recently came out with her Saint and Sinner perfumes, and they were sent to me in PR. I just recently got them. These are perfumes that have come out in the past. She had a Saint and Sinner perfume like a while ago, and it did really well. So she brought it back, and this is what the bottles look like. The other one looks exactly like this, but it is completely black. And I actually gave that one away. This is the only one I kept because I don't really like the way the Sinner perfume smells. I like really sweet scents, like that is my main thing. I love a sweet, sugary scent. It just mixes really well with my body chemistry. And I also like clean scents or fresh scents, like citrus scents, but I really do not prefer a floral scent. It like smells, smells oldish on me. Like my skin hates it. And this one is actually described as a floral. On the Sephora website says it's a classic floral that has vanilla, musk, and jasmine. And honestly, I don't know if I smell that. I do smell the vanilla. To me, it smells kind of like vanilla mixed with a fruity scent. I don't find this floral at all. Am I spitting everywhere? I don't know, to me it actually smells like Britney Spears' fantasy. No, yeah, fantasy. It reminds me of what celebrity perfumes used to smell like back in the day. I know that sounds really strange, but I feel like I had a lot of perfumes growing up that smelled like this, but I do like this perfume. I think it's nice. It's definitely not my favorite. I will continue to use this, but when it's done, I just don't see myself purchasing this. I don't I don't think it lasts that long on the skin. And I was shocked that I didn't like the Sinner perfume because that's the one I was looking forward to the most. The description on the Sephora website says patchouli, wood, and cinnamon. All things I love. Like, I don't know why I don't like it. There's something about the Sinner perfume that smells like old, like really, that sounds really mean. But it smells very mature and very powdery, at least on my skin. I applied it and I let it dry and everything and even like as I was wearing it throughout the day, I didn't like the scent of it. But it has amazing reviews online and I don't know, I don't know what it is because I usually love musky scents. That's another type of fragrance I love. I love like musky, woodsy, almost masculine but kind of sexy scents. I really love those and I just, I didn't like Sinner. I gotta say, I really didn't. I also received the Urban Decay Go Naked Perfume Oil. I was so excited for this because I love perfume oils. I have the Flower Bomb Perfume Oil that I love to layer with the Flower Bomb Perfume. And honestly, I feel like it makes such a difference. It takes Flower Bomb and then it extends it like 10 times more. I love it. So I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to try this. I thought it would be perfect for the summertime to wear like in the pool or in the beach because oils don't really come off so easily. But I don't like this perfume either. I don't like scents like this all that much. I love coconut beachy scents, but I don't like scents that smell too much like 
sunscreen and online lavender is actually one of the notes but I don't think I smell the lavender and I love lavender to me this smells like soap when I wear it on my skin and it's been on for a few hours it smells like soap like dishwashing soap it just doesn't mix well with my body I feel like my skin doesn't like scents like this I don't like replica boardwalk I know that one's really famous I don't like the Estee Lauder summer perfume I don't like Bobbi Brown Beach I never like scents like that, except another one that I'm going to show you in a little bit. They just don't smell good on me, and this is one of those products that just doesn't smell good on me, and I wish it did because I love perfume oils, but, you know, that is one I'm definitely passing on. Speaking of perfume oils, I just recently purchased this, which is why I wanted to include it in this video. I got the Giorgio Armani Sea Oil. I purchased this on the Ulta website, and I'm so excited for this. The only perfume oil I've seen make a difference in how long my perfume lasts is Flower Bomb. But to me, Flower Bomb already lasts a really long time on my skin regardless. But I really wanted to try this because C is one of my favorite perfumes of all time. Definitely top five for sure. It's one of my perfumes that I wear whenever I'm feeling really down. If I'm going through it, if I'm really sad, I will usually put on C. There's something about this perfume that just makes me really happy. And I had just been dying to try this oil when I saw it at Ulta. So I recently bought it and I'm so excited. The perfume does smell a little bit stronger. This is like a muted version, but... Sinks right into the skin too. I don't know. I have a feeling I'm really gonna like this. I've never tried it, but I just have a feeling. Let me know in the comments below. Do you believe in perfume oils or do you think they're a gimmick? Like, let me know because I have tried a few that I feel like don't really work. Okay, so let's talk about some body splash. This is the Bath and Body Works Almond and Vanilla Fine Fragrance Mist. And this actually has natural almond oil in it, which I think is pretty amazing. I really am addicted to, <laughs> to anything almond scented. I hate almonds. I hate eating them but I love smelling them. I just got this, that's why it's barely been used, but for the past week, I have been spraying this on my body to go to bed, and it is amazing. I spray it literally everywhere, because I love wearing perfumes to go to bed, but I don't like it to be too strong, because if not, I won't fall asleep. I'll just get a headache, so I prefer like body splashes like this, but this one is so yummy, yet it's not overpowering. It's just absolutely delicious. If you love almonds, you need this in your life. Go to Bath & Body Works, it's so, so good. You do smell the vanilla but it's not like a super sweet gross vanilla it's just I'm obsessed so I was recently sent this little perfume from Tarte this is their sweet Tarte perfume which by the way that is the cutest name in the world that is that is the cutest name in the world that is so smart because it's a sweet perfume and the brand is Tarte and sweet Tarte's like absolutely perfect but this is their newest fragrance it's the only size it comes in I hope they release like a bigger version of this because I really do love this scent I think it's an Ulta exclusive because I can't seem to find it anywhere else. It's currently sold out, which totally sucks, but I really, really love this scent. The notes are very, very fruity, but I do smell like that base of the vanilla. And it also has sandalwood in it, which I totally love. I just really like how this smells. And I usually don't like rollerballs because they're just so annoying. I prefer a travel spray, but this rollerball, rollerball. <laughs> This rollerball isn't too tight in there, so you do get a lot of product while you're applying it on the skin. Some rollerballs, like, nothing comes out. This one is pretty good. If you're a sweet scent lover like me, you might really like this. Okay, so the next fragrance I just recently bought is actually a hair fragrance. This is a hair perfume from the brand Toka. Toka? And I'm not sure if this product is new in general. It says new on Sephora. But they recently came out with four different hair scents. And I purchased the one called Stella, which is the only one sold out online, of course. But I really wanted to try this out, especially Stella, because it had the best reviews on the Sephora website. I am a Sephora review reader. If you've left a review on Sephora, chances are I've probably read it. And Stella was getting the most hype, so that's the one I purchased. And when I read the description of each one, this is the one that I thought I was going to like the most. And let me tell you, I have a few hair perfumes. I actually have quite a few. If a perfume I really, really, really love has a matching hair fragrance, I will buy it just because I'm extra like that when it comes to perfume. I'll spray that all over my body and then I'll take the hair perfume and spray it on my hair even though I have sprayed regular perfume on my hair multiple, multiple times. But, and I've never really noticed a huge difference until I purchased this. Now, I just recently got it but I can smell this in my hair at the end of the day and I haven't felt that way about any other perfume for hair. So I think this is really, really good. The only thing I don't love about this is I truly don't love the scent. There's something about it that's a little bit too mature for me. It's described as blood orange, but I usually love blood orange scents. 
And I feel like this is mixed, blood orange and like something else. And that's some, oh my God, my hair looks crazy today. And that other something else is what I can't get on board with and I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it, but I don't love it. But once I apply it in my hair and it's dried and it's been there for about an hour and a half, I think it smells delicious. Like I was walking by someone and I had this in my hair and they were like, oh my gosh, what perfume are you wearing? And I actually wasn't wearing perfume that day. I only had like the hair perfume on my head. I think it dries down to a very warm, welcoming scent and I really like how this makes my head smell. If you're someone like me who doesn't wash their hair every single day and on like the third or fourth day it's starting to smell a little funk so you have to add like dry shampoo and you have to do stuff to it. This, with a little bit of dry shampoo, it's like I just washed my hair. It's like I just washed my hair. <laughs> and then the last perfume I just recently purchased has been my go-to. I am obsessed with this. I'm not gonna lie, I love perfume more than the average bear. I wear it all the time. When I wake up, I spray it. Like, I love to smell good all day, every day, even when I'm not going anywhere. But sometimes when I am going out, I forget to spray perfume, so I keep this little guy in my purse at all times, and it has taken over my life. This is the Jo Malone Nectarine and Blossom Honey Cologne. Wow, this is so good. My favorite Jo Malone cologne of all time is Blackberry and Bay. If you've smelled that, it's fantastic. I like that one a little bit more than this one. And I had that one in my purse for like eight months straight and then I kind of switched it out to this guy. Actually, they both smell really, really good. I'm not gonna lie, this one kind of reminds me of Blackberry and Bay. It has kind of like an undertone, but I definitely smell like the peachy vibes. In the notes it says it has honey and peach, but and I kind of smell that. This smells so delicious. It's a floral, but it's not a powdery floral or one that's gonna make you smell too mature. This one almost smells like a garden covered in sugar. I mean, look where I'm by already. And I just bought this. Which, I mean, totally sucks because Joe Malone is not cheap. It is not cheap, that's expensive. Anyway, those are some perfumes I just recently picked up. I feel like that is a video all in itself, or some of those were sent to me. But it was still kind of like a haul, kind of. By the way, if you hear all that noise, there's construction still going on in my house. Okay, so now I wanna talk to you guys about a few scents that are holy grails for summer, in my opinion. I truly wear these nonstop in the summertime. Some of these have been holy grails for a long time, and a couple of these are pretty new. I will say Pink Sugar is one of those perfumes that I wear a lot in the summer. Mine is almost completely gone. I have like five of these little bottles scattered around my entire house. I love pink sugar, it's one of my favorites. But besides that, this has gotta be my absolute favorite one. Hands down, the best perfume to wear in the summer ever. This is actually a celebrity perfume and it's Miami Glow by Jennifer Lopez. And this is just a delicious, sweet, coconut vanilla yet sexy summer scent. It's like everything I could dream of in one bottle. Every single time I wear this perfume, I get compliments. I have a bunch of bottles on deck because I really cannot find this anywhere anymore unless it's like on Amazon, online. Sometimes you can find it at Walmart, but it's not something you can get really easily. But oh my gosh, you need this in your life. If you've never smelled this perfume and you are into summer scents, you need this. It's one of the few celebrity perfumes I actually like. It's one of the few that actually stays on my skin the entire day. Like this lasts a really long time on my skin. It's like incredible. JLo, you can do no wrong, I love you. I actually don't like any of JLo's other scents except Still. I like Still, but the rest, I am like. That one, fabulous. If you guys do not have Escada Turquoise Summer and you're going on a tropical vacation soon, what are you waiting for? You need this. It's not like sunscreeny and beachy and sandy. No, it's like fruity and like pina colada-y and like strawberry-y. I just pulled up the notes on Sephora, and this has blackcurrant. Blackcurrant is another thing I really love in perfumes, like patchouli or blackcurrant, and you've got my heart. And Escada is actually a more affordable perfume brand, and I really, really like them. Some of their perfumes last all day on me, like Moon Sparkle lasts forever on my skin. This one lasts a decent amount of time, but it's pretty affordable, and I think it's so worth it. This is my second bottle. I mean, they're tiny, but I've already gone through an entire one. It is delish. So I recently spoke about this for like a second in my favorites video, but you need this. This is brand new, I just recently got this, and I don't think it released that long ago either. This is the Bath & Body Works Fine Fragrance Mist, and it's called At The Beach. And when you wear this, you, you literally feel like you're at the beach. No, like, I can't think of a better name for this perfume. I really can't. This is probably the only beachy scent that I can get on board with. I was shocked at how much I liked this, but honestly, it gives you that beachy, salt water, coconut smell 
without it smelling like straight up sunscreen and chemicals. It smells like a yummy, I wanna eat you version of those kinds of scents. It doesn't last an incredibly long time on the skin, I will say that. It's the only downside to this. I really wish it lasted a lot longer because it truly does not. You definitely have to reapply throughout the day, but you can just throw this in your beach bag, take it to the beach, and I think it's worth it. It is. This one is definitely a must have for me in the summertime. I've worn this for like seven years. It is Victoria's Secret Bombshell and I have to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Victoria's Secret perfumes. There are a few I really like. I like Very Sexy, I like Scandalous, I think that's what it's called. <laughs> I'm not sure. But to me, nothing holds a candle to bombshell. It's the one that lasts the longest on my skin. Victoria's Secret perfumes are like notorious for not lasting on me, but this one does last a long time. At least the perfume does. The body splash, not so much. But I love this scent. It smells so sexy, like so delicious and fresh, like really fresh. Oh, I love it. It's another very fruity scent in my opinion. I love fruity scents in the summertime so much, but it has a sexy twist. It's just one of those perfumes that when I run out of this, like I will this summer, I will immediately go out and repurchase it again. I find it on the Victoria's Secret website and it is a must have for me in the summertime, like so much. Okay, and then last but not least is this guy. This is the Sud, I'm not, I'm not sure how to say this brand, Sud, maybe Sud Pacific, Pacific, Sud Pacific? South Pacific. And this is the scent Vanilla Cocoa, which is Vanilla Coconut. And I feel like this brand is very hit or miss for me. They have something called Vanilla Extreme that literally gave me a headache like no other perfume has ever given me a headache before. It was so strong, I had to get rid of it. I didn't like it, but this one in Vanilla Cocoa, Oh my gosh, this like takes me right back to the Bahamas. It's crazy, I haven't really worn this since I went to the Bahamas and it's like, I'm right back there again. This has like three notes and it is so good. It's not too strong to where it gives you a headache, but it's powerful enough to where you really, really smell this throughout the entire day. It's one of those perfumes I love wearing in the water, like in the beach, in the lazy river, in the pool, in the water. It smells like even better. I know that's weird, but it does. It is summer and sunshine in a bottle. Like I just picture someone on a hammock underneath a tree sipping a pina colada underneath a coconut tree, might I add. It's really good stuff. And if you're into vanilla and coconuts, like together, you need this. You will love it. Okay guys, so that completes this video. These were perfumes I recently purchased or they were recently sent to me and then I also wanted to give you guys some of my favorite scents to wear this time of year. I hope this video wasn't too long or too boring because <laughs> I know no one likes perfume videos. I'm sorry, love me, be my friend. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me for my top favorite perfumes of all time but it's pretty much the same. The only one that has thrown itself in the mix is definitely Valentino Donna. That one is like, Amazing. It kind of bumped another one to like the sixth spot, but it's pretty much the same as my last top five. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite perfume is, is what your favorite perfume is, and if it's sweet or fruity, and I haven't checked it out. I just might. So yeah, guys, that completes this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.